What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy, First Class 305, coming at y'all with a late, late, late jump off, late afternoon jump off. For everybody who stayed, who's tuned today, uh, I went to my local mall who said that they were going to have the questions. Lo and behold, in the society, in the society that we live in, cats end up fronting. So, I went to the mall. 9 o'clock in the morning, if y'all saw how empty it was, let's just say that it was empty for a reason. And I ended up getting screwed on those. Um, y'all see the time right now. Right now the time is going on 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's like a full-time job today. I haven't been on a sneaker hunt forever, so honestly speaking, it, it kind of revamped my love for the game, to be real. Because uh, I really had to get out there and get on the hustle hard body for these. Ended up going uh, to three malls, two boutiques. And at the end of the day, after all that running and shuffling and all that good stuff, this is where we at, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, you're looking at that correctly. Absolutely. Four boxes. Ended up picking up a size seven and a size six and a half because I was going to use those as trade bait. See if somebody ended up getting a size ten and a half or eleven that they wanted to swap out for one of my six and a half to seven. I was going to add some cash on top of those. Uh, so I ended up scooping those up. Uh, and at the end of the day, I had to go to I had to go to uh, the, to court today. Not anything, not not what anybody is thinking. It was actually on some tickets. Oh, y'all see that back there? Look at that, it's crazy. Uh, uh, you know, I, I can't stand when the fire alarms be beeping because the battery's low. So I just got pissed off and yanked that off. But whatever. Uh, I got to I ain't got to explain nothing, y'all. We talking about sneakers. We ain't talking about bullshit. Uh, but anyways, I ended up. Um, I had to go down to to, to Miami to the Miami courthouse. To go take care of some tickets for some bullshit. It was like I didn't have my proof of insurance or my registration in the car. I'm super forgetful like that. My wife tore me a new one because I have all that because I paid for my insurance for the whole year. Uh, and also I paid for my registration for two years. But I didn't have it in the car when the cop pulled me over. So he gave hit me up with two tickets for that. So I went to Miami today to go take care of those tickets to show them all the proof of information and shit. That was at about, let's say, 2 o'clock, 1.30, 2 o'clock. Uh, while I was down there, I decided to hit up the mall that was nearby. The mall that's nearby is Aventura, Aventura Mall. I decided to hit them up to see what was up, to see, uh, you know what I'm saying, just because I haven't been to that mall like in five, six years. So I was like, yo, let me slide through, see if my, you know, my, my, my old connects that were out there still work out there and all that other good stuff. So I walk into none other than LeBron's store. If y'all know, LeBron has a store out here in South Florida. It's called Unknown. Here's, a, here's the card, actually. Y'all can't really see it. I'm actually going to uh, I'm gonna actually um, show y'all exactly where it's at. Uh, and, uh, I'm going to take a better picture of it. You know, I'm going to take a picture on uh, the DSLR later when I do the review on the kicks. But I, I, just, I just decided to go in there because everybody talks about the store. So I was like, you know what? Let me see what's popping off in here. So I walk inside the store. Mind you, it's about 3 o'clock at this time already, like 2.30, 3 o'clock. I walk into the store at 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm like, dude, I was going to go in there because I was like, I was very pissed off because I couldn't get my size in the questions. Anybody who knows me knows that that was one of my all-time favorite shoes. That was one of my grill joints. Uh, couldn't get it when I was a kid because, you know, the OG was on that struggling tip. So, you know what I'm saying? You got to play the cards you would dealt. Uh, so I wasn't able to scoop those up back in the day. So I ended up you know, kind of passing on those. Uh, so I was really pissed off because I couldn't get my sneakers and whatnot. So I decided to go in there and say, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to buy something today. I'm going to buy a pair of sneakers today. So, you know, I went inside the breezy store, check it out, so forth and so on. Guess what I see posted up on the wall? Yes. The question. Reebok questions. Yes. Yes. So I'm on the wall. Already getting excited. My heart's beating like 25 miles an hour, like on some OD. Like I swear, you would swear I just took a bump of coke. I was, my heart was beating hard body. So I go to the dude. It's this little white dude, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's real cool, but he's one of those boutique ass niggas, you know what I'm saying? You know, like those dudes that be wearing the crop, the crop pants and shit. You know what I'm saying? Real, real laid back dude, but you know what I'm saying? A little, a little suspect looking. So I go to the dude, I was like, yo, you got these. Uh, I walk up to him, like, yo, you got the Reebok questions. Uh, in the back, do you still have any more sizes? He's like, the Reebok, what? I said, Reebok questions. Those dope white and red joints you got sitting on the wall. Tell me what this dude tells me. He goes to me and he looks at me. He says, what size do you need? 
I said, what size do you got? He says, what size are you looking for? So I'm getting excited. My heart is like, yo, this nigga just asked me what size am I looking for. So that means they got to have pairs on deck. So I go to this dude and I'm like, yo, check it. I need a size 10 and a half or 11. Tell me what you got. I need 10 and a half or 11 or 10 and a half and 11. Because stores like that, everybody know about boutiques. Boutiques, there's no limit to how many you can buy. So I walk inside the store and I go to the dude. I'm like, yo, uh... Let me get that. Let me do, check the back, see if you got a 10 and a half or 11. He comes back and he's sad. Look, he has a sad, he has like this somber look on his face. So I'm already getting sad. I'm like, oh man, don't tell me I missed the gravy train. Dude sold out of the pairs. Long and behold, in his right hand, what do I see? A Reebok box. He says, no, nah, man, too bad. I only got a size 11. I was like, yo. He says, do you want to try them on? Like, are you kidding me? Of course. Give me that shit. I'm going to try these on right now. Try them on. And the heavens opened up. And dude just got super elated and super happy. Yes, I got super elated, super happy. It was my size. First class 305 after a mission, after a full eight hour mission, ended up scooping up my pair of question, Reebok questions, size 11. It, we on deck. And for those who think I'm out here fronting, cause these, yo, and I, at the end of the day, I'm, I do apologize. Cause I slept on this release. I really wasn't up on my, on my BI. So I do apologize for anybody. I, I did get excited for it. This shoe release was beyond super limited. Um, Reebok.com only sold 250 pairs worldwide. I'm talking about like on the, on uh, Reebok online only sold 250 pairs. And there was only 5,000 pairs made. Yes, you are correct. 5,000 pairs made. So, I feel pretty fortunate having four sitting in my living room right now. I feel like a baller. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Real, I'm super late. It was just meant for me to have those. I woke up I woke up today and I was like, yo, I'm going I'm to I'm get these. I'm going to get these. Real talk, I'm going to get these. But, you know what I'm saying? For those who think I'm fronting about my, my, my B.I., let me make sure cats know exactly where I'm at. Hold up. Y'all see that right there. Size 11, question mid. Basketball, blazy blaza, y'all see all that. Also got a six and a half, a seven, and a nine and a half. Cause I figured, you know what? I'm gonna look out for somebody. If anybody needs a size nine and a half, y'all definitely hit me up. I'm just gonna be clear from now. Like y'all know, I don't condone reselling. I don't condone none of that garbage. But at the end of the day, this mission that I went on for these sneakers today has to be. I have to be. I have to be compensated for. I don't give. I don't give a shit. I, I, normally, if I go to this to the, my local mall that's up the block, and I pick up a pair of sneakers, I always do justice on the price. I went ahead and showed the pair of, um, of Jordan Lowe's, the Jordan 11 Lowe's for 175 ship. I can't do it with these because at the end of the day, I spent seventy dollars on gas today, seventy on gas today just to pick up the shoe. So y'all already know what the lick read. I ain't paying for it out of my pocket. You know what I'm saying? I could do the whole Craigslist thing, but I'd rather look out for the sneaker fam. Uh, just be, 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 be conscious of the fact that I still got love for y'all. It ain't got nothing to do with not having love for y'all or trying to be an asshole. Just keep in mind that I was out there on the Grizzly trying to find these joints. And I'm super elated that I actually ended up getting them. It was just meant to be in my collection because I always do a lot. Of, you know, that's not, I'm not a big believer in karma, but I mean, in a situation like this, I guess you could call it karma. Because, you know, I do a lot of hooking up for people, and I ended up uh, scooping mine up for retail. Came up the, since I bought it in, in Dade County, the tax is like 1% more than it is up here in Broward. Uh, so it ended up coming up to, like, I think it's one, 140 after taxes, which was nuts. I see them going on eBay right now for, like, ridiculous, like, $350, $400. So I'm not trying to get anything like that. It ain't even that kind of party. Uh, I, let me, I'm tired of shit. I only slept for 30 minutes yesterday. Went to sleep at 7.30. I was up at 8.00. So I'm exhausted. Right now it's four or five in the four or five in the afternoon. So I'm gonna try to get at least three four hours of sleep. Get back up because I gotta go to the studio tonight. And I also gotta do the review for y'all. I'm gonna do that before I go to the studio, or whatever. So it is what it is. Uh, so if anybody wears a size nine and a half, kick it to the homie. Shoot an offer. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna entertain offers right now because I'm not too sure exactly how much. If I'm gonna set it at a list price. Or, you know what I'm saying, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to bite on the offers that, that we're talking about right now. And, um, you know, like I said, it's no love lost. I still got love for all the sneaker fan. I still got love for the sneaker fiend, Squizzy. Uh, I'm just saying, like I said before, it is what it is, though. I was out there, I was out there, I was out there hustling and bustling for these joints. And I ended up getting it, man. Uh, 
if you know anybody needs a size six and a half and a seven also i'm definitely going to go ahead and, and and go ahead and sell those too the prices on those are going to be real flexible real real flexible because they ain't my size and they're going to either be for a girl or a young dude and i know money's tight out here so i ain't even going to be on that bullshit with that um but real talk Either way, not to take up too much more time, super related, super happy. Big shout out to the homie LeBron James because his, yo, his boutique, honestly speaking, they gonna know me by name in there after we, after we done because I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have to start really starting, I'm gonna have to start dumping bread in there, real talk. Real, real shit, I'm gonna have to start dumping bread in there. It was a super dope store. Uh, it's, it, it has that real dope fly boutique atmosphere. Uh, and they sell, they sell for retail. Honestly, sometimes they have to sell under retail because LeBron has a Nike contract. Because they have a pair of dunks that just came out. They're beige, beige, beige off-white, and army green. I think it's the colors. And some little orange in there, something like that. And they're going in champs for $110. And inside LeBron's store, they're only going for, I think it's $90 or $95. So most of the time, you actually find discounts in a boutique, which is I've never seen before. But... I'm definitely going to co-sign the big homie LeBron James on this one. Um, I mean, I guess I'm going to have to start talking shit about him on YouTube, too. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, he's the reason I got my grails. So, we're going to fall back. Show love to the sneaker squishy. If you need that size 9.5, the 6.5 for the 7, holla at your dude. Only got 111, and that belongs to the God. Tr sorry, ain't trying to burst no bubbles, but it is what it is. I'm still keeping y'all posted. I'm still going to look out on prices. Anybody's price, I always beat their prices a, a billion times over because I don't do this for the money. I do it for the love of the kicks. You know what I'm saying? And uh, a quick shout out to the homie. Um, damn. I think it's three, the, the, the three kid or something like that. I do, I do apologize for not remembering your name. Uh, but the big homie, he left a dope comment on, on the bottom uh, on one of the videos stating that I kind of like inspired him to go ahead and start doing videos. And I, I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for those. I definitely appreciate uh, the fact that, you know what I'm saying, I, I, I inspired somebody to do something dope. You know, we out here just, it's all love. It's about a love for the sneakers. It's about love for the fam. It's about love for humanity. As cliche and corny as that sounds. But you know what it is, what it is. We out here trying to have some fun, trying to make some friends, trying to make some connects, because we all need some connects. Uh, and, you know what I'm saying, just doing it for the love of the sneakers. So at the end of the day, it's your boy First Class 305. It's 410 in the afternoon, and I'm out your ear, I'm out your face. Tuck up them deuces. Salute. God damn it, I'm tired. Man.